All right, welcome to the video. We've got a question here today. Top places to live in Australia. This person currently lives in Sydney, but is looking to move to more of a chilled area. What's it like in Adelaide, they ask? And I thought this question was very appropriate to answer tonight because I'm actually in Sydney right now. The room that I'm standing in right here was the room that I grew up in for 19 years. I'm 23 now and I moved to Adelaide when I just turned 20. So this is my dinner for those of you wondering. I've got gnocchi with chunky bolognese pasta sauce. Beautiful flat tummy food. Starches, sugars, and fruits. Those are your top three flat tummy foods. All right, back to top places to live in Australia. <sighs> Where can I start? Sydney is an amazing place. It has some beautiful spots and some really ugly spots too. It's a very big city, there's over 5 million people here and it has changed a lot. It is very busy. There are a lot of cars on the road, there is a lot of traffic, there are people everywhere and it is go, go, go. Sydney is hectic and uh, Duran Wright actually has a nickname for it. He calls it Stressed Kidney Sydney because if you live in Sydney, you're going to get a stressed kidney. And I have to say that that is very true to a certain extent. I had more stress living in Sydney than I do in Adelaide. And I know a lot of girls and guys, young girls and guys, that have a lot of stress as well and they are struggling living in Sydney because of the cost of rent super expensive. Housing is so expensive in Sydney. How competitive it is, it is cutthroat. So cutthroat. And the drugs. There's a lot of cocaine, there's a lot of booze, there's a lot of durries, and uh, people in Sydney are under the pump. And that is just the truth. No doubt the city is, as in the CBD, Sydney Harbour, the beaches, beautiful. That to me tells me that it's best to move away from the stress and just come to Sydney to visit. I'm basically a tourist in my home city at the moment. Whereas Adelaide is a big chilled out country town. There's only about 1.3 million people there. And for those of you wondering, Sydney to Adelaide is just a 90 minute flight. Just 90 minutes. That's it. So there's 1.3 million people in Adelaide. It's like a big country town. It is an amazing city because you can travel from the beaches to the CBD, to the hills, full on nature, all in one day. The proximity of everything in Adelaide is amazing. And I've lived there since April 2018 and I do love it. I, I now call Adelaide home. It's amazing if you want to be immersed in nature, but you also want that balance of city life. So if you care about your health, because the air quality there is top notch. Adelaide has some of the cleanest air of any city in the world. If you care about your health and your fitness, if you want to make fitness gains, the hills, the Adelaide Hills, are where you want to be. There are thousands of loops. It is endless exploring. And that's not just road cycling. That's mountain biking. That's gravel biking. It's amazing for running as well. The trails, the hiking, it is endless. So Adelaide is a big nature city. You will literally see koalas and kangaroos 10 kilometers from the CBD. You've maybe heard a few people say, Adelaide, Adelaide is as boring as batshit. I'm never going back there. Or they've never even been there in the first place because they're parroting their Sydney and Melbourne friends. Well, unfortunately, if you have that opinion, you did not get the full Adelaide experience. 
you didn't experience the real deal because if you did your opinion would change i guarantee it but of course everybody is entitled to their own opinion i'm not here to tell you this is right this is wrong you have to do this don't do that no not at all i'm just here giving my personal experience my opinion and advice if you're curious or if you're looking for a change is Adelaide for absolutely everybody no it's not but is it a place that a lot of people would love but they don't even know it yet yes of course there are people in Sydney who are perfectly content my grandmother, for example, she, she will not be moving to Adelaide because she loves zipping around in her Mercedes Benz. She goes to Double Bay, Bondi Junction, Wallara, <laughs> Lilyfield, all of the nice places. And, you know, that's her routine. She loves that. And that's fantastic. There are other people who love doing that as well. But there are also a lot of extremely stressed out people. And it is so sad to see because I want them to know that they can break free from the Sydney grind. Because if you come to Adelaide and you've got all of that Sydney work experience, you're gonna get a job like that. You know, having the Sydney references and the Sydney work experience, they are going to snap you up. <laughs> so you wanna to move to Adelaide. Where should you live in Adelaide? In my opinion, the Eastern suburbs is the best area in Adelaide. Not only is it beautiful, all of the parks, the trees, the gardens, the houses, it's got a beautiful vibe. Just the proximity to the hills. We're only three Ks from the start of the hills and four Ks from the city and only 15 Ks from the beach. And that is just one straight road. It's not all zigzag up and down. It's just one straight road, super easy. That, that is my pick. So come on a weekend or a long weekend if you've got some free time, bring your boyfriend, bring your girlfriend, bring your mum, your dad, rent out some bikes or bring your bikes in a box and explore. I've spent time in all cities in Australia except for Melbourne. I haven't been to Melbourne yet, but I do plan on going in the near future sometime. I will give you my opinion, but for now, Adelaide is in my opinion, the best city in Australia for overall quality of life. Questions and comments down below. Ask me anything.